Hey guys, uh, down here at the airport today, gonna be doing a um, like a coffee social fly-in. Um, gonna be pre-flighting the Challenger. Ray's supposed to be here. Uh, he's not answering his phone, so we're thinking he might have overslept. He just flew in from New York like at one o'clock this morning. So, anyways, uh, I hate saying anyways, but I'm here. And uh, basically, this thing—if you ever heard of Rec Law? Um, uh, rec law in Texas is like our mini Oshkosh, except for um, there's no rules. But that's where we're going today. It's about 15 miles from here, and um, it's just basically a air grass strip called the Flying M Ranch, and that's it's a really fun place. It's where we go in October. If you haven't been, you honestly should try to go to Rec Law. It's in the end of October. I think the dates are like the 21st to the 23rd or something. And it's absolutely amazing. If you haven't been, you really should go. It's, uh, uh, there's a video. If you go further back in my, um, on this account, like I made a video for Rec Law 2021 and I made a quick one for 2022. And obviously now that I do this format, 2023 should be insane. So um, if you can make it to that, you definitely should. Um, especially if you're in the, you know, Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, you know, that whole situation. But so I'm gonna get the uh, plane pre-flighted, um, got some fuel, gotta check where my fuel is at and kind of go from there. Hey, one quick thing people have been asking me about, I've talked about it before, but you know, this thing here, it's called uh, www.inflight.cam or dot cam, I think. Oh, inflightcam.com, excuse me. But this is the device I use on my GoPro. Um, my GoPro 9, I mount it up here just on one of these flat mounts. And this is how I get my cockpit audio. This is how I get my view from the front. Sometimes I aim it down so it's looking looking down here at the instruments and then sometimes I just have it facing out. I probably should pay a little bit more attention about which one's which, but yeah. So this basically goes, um, goes all the way and plugs into where my radio is down here via this, this thing. And then this here is a mini or the uh, USB uh, C and this is just plugged into the power right here so that I am supplying power to this camera This camera never goes dead because as long as the airplanes on Then or the master if I got the master flipped on then that is so or this is supplying power So this is how I get my audio and everything. I believe they actually sell the um, adapters to uh, iPhones and like I'm an Android person because I'm awesome, but uh yeah, so you can actually buy the adapters for these. Uh, in regards to the Android and Apple thing, it's a big debate. I like Android because of the filming, but obviously for being a pilot, uh, Apple is better because then you have your foreflight and everything. Um, and people who have Apple phones, pilots who have Apple phones, uh, we'll, we'll be talking about something and be like, yeah, let me check on my four flight and then they can just go straight to it. I can't go straight to it. I have to have my iPad. So there are some benefits to having Apple, but not a lot. Let me see here. I just got a message. This might be Ray. Wake up, Ray, is what someone said in the group chat. So, or Paul said. So uh, Paul's uh, my buddy in the kit, or excuse me, in the um, um, cub, the other, ye the yellow cub. Uh, obviously Ray has the kit Fox, but I'm not sure how many people are be who uh, I'm not sure how many people will be there, but it should be fun as you can see. It's an absolutely beautiful day Let's see if uh Can't really zoom in here, but man What a beautiful day. I can hear some crickets in there But anyways, I'm gonna get some fuel in the bird get it pre-flighted pull it out I might go for a flight before everybody else gets here. I don't know yet. So We'll get that figured out. And if you haven't yet, subscribe, share, like, comment, do something to help the algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. Um, there's something else too. Oh yeah, I always put at the beginning of these, I am not a CFI. I make these videos for, I'm not a CFI yet. I make these videos for entertainment purposes only. If you take it any other way, then you have, it's that's a personal problem. Can't help you with that, so. Um, you know, I'm not here to teach. I'm here to just entertain, you know, basically. So, all right, let me get it done and we'll get it out there. 
off now. We will work our way to the runway and get out of here. We are, a uh, bunch of us are going over to Recklaw, like I said earlier in my intro. And uh, should be fun. I'm going to try to get there and then pull out my little battery uh, selfie stick. And uh, yeah, see if I can get some filming in. Um, should be fun. The plane looks good. I did a really good thorough pre-flight. Um, I used a flashlight and got into all my little mounts, um, the nuts and bolts and everything, which I, I mean, I normally do anyways without a flashlight, and a lot of times I'll use my fingers, but this morning it was a little dark, and I thought, you know what? What better thing to do than take a little flashlight and actually look at, like, all the mounts and all that good stuff, so. So that's what I did. A bunch of people getting ready. I don't know if you can see over there. You got Al getting ready and Jeff. Um, they're going to be on their way. Hopefully these are people I filmed landing. Hopefully I beat everybody there. Good guys. I like all these guys. It's going to be sad actually. In my next video probably, you're actually going to be seeing me move my airplane to a different airport, unfortunately. I'll explain that here in a second. And Cherokee County, Yellow Experimental A5 Bravo. Let's get a back taxi runway 32, Cherokee County. I said 36, but it's 32 the last time. And yes, I like to use all the runway. I'm aware my plane doesn't need it, but I use it all. I get down here and do my run up. Then we'll head down to down to Reclaw. Oh, so um, so I'm moving my airplane. Um, I'm going to be taking it down or up to. I live in over just over an hour away from here, about 55, 60 miles, and I am moving my airplane to an airport that is a privately on grass strip. Um, it's a lot more expensive to put my airplane there, unfortunately, but I know as odd as that sounds, it is, but it's so much closer to where I live that I'm hoping I save money and, you know, if it doesn't work out, I can just bring it back down here. I mean, I really hope it does work out there because it's so much closer to my house, but it's just, I don't know, paying a lot of money always sucks, when you have, especially when you have a plane that's not on the high end of things, you know. All right, there is a tower here that we're going to have to avoid. It's 2,000 feet. It's a 1,586 feet above the ground, but it's 2,000 feet on our uh, altimeter. And Cherokee County Yellow Experimental. 6285 Bravo is taking runway 32, and I'll be left traffic uh, departing to the southeast. Cherokee County. All right, here we go. Everything looks good. Temps look good. Off. And I'm going to go left traffic and depart down that way. I'm doing that because that tower is more northeast of here. Travel over there at 2,000. Always keep your hand on the throttle, people. <laughs> Probably travel over there at 2,000 feet.
Not climbing very much. And I want altitude, I want to get up to 2,000. Temps look good, everything looks good. Once I get the airplane closer to me, I'll probably start doing more work to it too, because then it'll be like close. So I'm gonna move all this stuff and deal with all that stuff. Pick up some more altitude. I'm going to go up to, uh, like I said, 2,000 feet. That way I have some time if I have any issues. Visibility is really low down there, but we have what we need to get there, so. I want to get there and then uh, set up a camera to watch people come in. That tower is over there somewhere, kind of like that nah, pointing over there, but it's like over there, so I really want to be careful of that. Wow. Low visibility. I'm going to fly to the south a little bit here, try to get away from this cloud coverage so I can see the ground. going away from that tower by doing that, so that's cool. I am at 2,000 feet. I have a big field right here off my right wing. If I had to get in there, it would be a tailwind, but that's okay, not too bad. back a little bit more. It says we're doing 73 because we're kind of like with a tailwind. I wanted to beat everybody there so that I wasn't battling with a lot of traffic or anything like that. I'm not hearing people for some reason very well. side of the clouds here. I can see fields to my right. ADSB, but one one thing about what we're doing right now is uh, a lot of people are going to it. I just changed over to the frequency he told me, but I probably won't use it much.
have to get below this coverage, which I don't like, but we're going to have to to stay legal. It appears as though there's nobody around, so I think we're okay. That's why we want to punch out of this stuff. And Go straight towards it now and try to get there. All right, guys, uh, spent three hours at Rec Law. Only three of us made it in there because, as you saw when I came in, the fog was moving in. Um, so we weren't legal for three hours. Uh, we had to wait, and so now it finally lifted, and it was good enough for us to get out of there. So, uh, yeah, back to me. All right, so we're going to just fly around the pattern a little bit here and make sure we can see real good everywhere. Looks like uh, Paul trying to get the Cubs started, so we will... Only a couple of us made it in here before the weather got bad, so unfortunately we didn't have a lot of people here. I'm going to aim my camera so that Paul can watch himself later on. Well, I fixed my seatbelt. There he goes. With that airplane, you got to hand prop that bad boy. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of work, but pretty cool airplane. John, you with me? Yep, I'm on. Ray, you close? Yeah, I'm a mile out. You said a mile? Yeah, one mile. All right, we're going to taxi uh, for takeoff. All right, I'll be behind you. I got you guys now. All right. Um, yeah, John's worried it doesn't work too good on uh, 1229, so we're going to stay at 1227. I see. If you want to go ahead and land, I'll text you on the right side. That's fine. Go ahead. John, you good? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, as soon as you roll, I'm going to start rolling. Okay, I'm going to take off and then come back around left-hand track and traffic pattern. I'll be behind you.
Charlotte, you're 11. I see you, Rex. Left crosswind. I, I can't hear you guys, so just know I'm behind you. Alright, left downwind for me. I got you both. I see you up. Alright, I'm heading towards Jacksonville. Okay, I'll be right behind you. Okay. Where are you at? That's a seven. Good one. We'll get to it. I'm at John Six, but I'm about uh, 600 feet below him. Alright, I'm going to stay at 1500 and follow this road for a little bit. I'm getting 70 over the ground now. I'll be catching John and I'll be up underneath his uh, right, right side. County 9 Unit 4 Parker, Flight 3, 8 miles from the east inbound. Like I was telling you earlier, Requa is a huge air show that happens here in East Texas. If you haven't heard... Are you going 3-2 uh, or what are you doing, Paul? Yeah, we're going to go 3-2, but I'm going to overfly the field and just kind of uh, hang out for a little bit. Okay. Probably go down 3-2 and then kind of head out over that field uh, just uh, west of the airport. Just uh, get a few minutes in. Okay. I'm going to make a straight into 3-2. Same here. There's a bird on final. Alright. In Cherokee County, 9 uniform box, two and a half mile final for 732. There's a few birds here. Um, sorry, I gotta finish what I was saying. Um, Oh, I see it. What is that? That is a flock. Ray, go on in. Me and Jack are just kind of kind of follow behind. Okay. I'm not too far behind you guys. Um, so anyways, if you go back on my videos, you'll see Reclaw videos. Um, it's so much fun. I want everybody I know to experience Reclaw. So I'm hoping this October anybody I care about will be there. I know my boy Adam. He's uh, in California. He'll be here again this year. He was last year, supposedly. Um, and then, you know, just acquaintances, people who work. Sure, Cherokee County, I'm here to pull out one mile final, 32, Cherokee sure, County. Maybe even some students from the school that I work at. And who knows, you know, the boys love it. It's just such a great time. Literally, I don't see the boys, like I see them, but they just go do fun stuff for like a couple of days, just on quads and playing with kids and airplanes and just having a great time. Now we got the airport there and I'm going to let them do what they're doing and then I'm going to... It's kind of a push. What's it looking like, left to right? Oh no, dude, there's a, like a tailwind push hard. Oh man, well why don't you overfly it and check the windsock so we don't get hurt. Citation 224 Julie Whiskey's outside of Yeah, yeah, get down on the on have 3 2 approach, Turkey County. Oh crap. Bye, hey, 
Cherokee County, yellow, it's four million five Bravo is about one mile south, straight in for three two, Cherokee County. I am not seeing him on there. Look up. An aircraft on the RNAV, did you copy that? Yeah, on my radio. And Cherokee County, yellow, experiment five Bravo is final, 3-2, Cherokee County. I don't know where the hell that thing is. And Cherokee County, 90 to pull Fox up the uh, right turn off of the park. How is the wind? That was fine. 224, Julie Whiskey is on the Yayak inbound, Cherokee County. Cherokee County traffic, Yellow Cup 937 will be uh, west of the uh, field uh, at about uh, 800 feet. And Yellow Experiment 85 Bravo is final, 3-2, Cherokee County. Hope you don't run my ass over. <laughs> <laughs> 